Welcome to another learning activity video brought to you by the GLOBE program Asia Pacific Coordination Office. In this activity students will discover the variability of soils and their relationship with the local environment. Its objective is to explore soil properties and their characteristics. At the end of this activity, students should discover the variability of soils derive relationship among soils and the forming factors, and link the GLOBE soil protocols for a deeper understanding of soils characteristics and properties. Reminder, this activity involves some digging. So, prepare to get your hands dirty. And remember, safety comes first. This activity aims to impart students with key science concepts and scientific inquiry abilities, such as Earth and Science Concept Identifying Research Questions Learning Soil Properties and Their Characteristics Designing and Conducting Investigation and Experiments Learning Changes in the Earth's Surface and How the Local Environment Influences These Changes using appropriate tools and techniques for classifying and analyzing data. And lastly, communicating procedures and explanation. All these skills are relevant to building students' research abilities. Time allotment for this activity is between one to two hours. An additional hour or two may be required if soil drying is involved. Here are the materials you need. Some old newspaper to cover students' work table. One liter plastic bags, preferably Ziplocs. Local map, topographic or road map which encompasses the school district. Magnifying glass, or macro lenses with 60 times to 100 times magnification. The same one the globe uses for its mosquito protocols. Latex gloves. And a spade or trowel for digging. We're almost there. First things first, you need a room for observing soils with the following facilities. Lab tables covered in newspaper, a heating lamp or oven, if soil drying is involved. Globe Programs Gravimetric Soil Protocol Lab Guide. Okay, let's get started. Soils vary in their properties depending on where they have been sampled and from what depth they were sampled. In the classroom, a day before the activity, Ask students to hypothesize how many different types of soils the individuals in the class can find in their neighborhoods. After a brief discussion, ask students to bring soil samples from home using one liter plastic bags, preferably Ziploc bags, and take note of the location, depth and storage methods of each sample. The next day, back in the classroom, ask students to spread out their sample on the table and examine them. Then, ask them to describe their sample and to think about what they are observing, taking note of the sample's texture, color, composition, dryness or wetness and others. Use the Globe Science Notebook to record your observation. Have each student find one person in the class that has a soil similar to their own. Record how they determined that the soils were different. Have each student find one person in the class that has a soil that is different from their own soil. Record how they determined that the soils were different. As a class, brainstorm and list on the board the different characteristics students used to describe their samples. Group or classify samples accordingly. Have you ever wondered? What are soils made of? If an area is made of the same basic rock materials then what causes the differences in soil characteristics? Why some soils are different in texture, color, and properties? More importantly, where do soils come from? Soils come from rocks. Sorry, not these kind of rocks. But this kind of rocks. Rocks are the parent material of soils. The action of sun, water, ice, wind, and plant break huge pieces of rock to form soil. 
This process is called weathering. It is a slow process, and it can take thousands of years for rocks to turn into soil. There are three types of weathering, physical, chemical, and biological. Physical weathering occurs when rocks, mineral and soil disintegrate without chemical change. One example of this is when rocks collide with other rocks causing them to break into smaller pieces. Chemical weathering involves the interaction of rock with mineral solutions or chemicals such as weak acids or acid rain to change the composition of rocks. Biological weathering occurs when plants break up rocks with roots or root exudates. Biological weathering can also be caused by burrowing animals, fungi, and algae also called lichens. Rocks are continuously exposed to the agents of weather, constantly heated by the sun and cooled by the rain. The alternate heating and cooling over a long period of time cracks the rocks in the following manner. Rain falling on heated rocks caused them to break due to sudden contraction. The rain collects in these cracks and may freeze in winter, forming ice. Ice in the crevices expands causing the rocks to break in smaller pieces, sometimes due to strong winds and other natural causes. Rocks may roll down and hit each other cause them to break in smaller pieces. Sometimes the roots of trees gets into the crevices, and as they grow the roots push themselves into the rock and break them apart. Other times, some plants such as fungi and algae, produces weak acids that slowly breaks up the rocks. These plants are called lichens. The continuous movement of water, such as rivers or springs also breaks up rocks into smaller pieces. The continuous cycle of breaking rocks into smaller and smaller pieces produces soil. And that's how soils are made. Thank you for watching another episode of GLOBE's Learning Activities. For more information about the GLOBE program, visit the GLOBE website at www.globe.gov. Remember don't just learn science, do science.